What's up everybody, Frozen Titan here, back again playing some Wild Hearthstone. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mechathune Warlock. We're going to get into it facing off against a Priest. And let's get into our mulligan here. So, against the Priest, we shouldn't really need as many of our removal tools. Definitely shouldn't really need the Coil. We will hold on to a Dark Skies in, in case there's kind of any, you know, Resurrect or, or Tutor shenanigans that he tries to get into here. We do kind of pull off one of our ideal cards in our starting hand, the Cobalt Librarian. Ideally, what we're really, really looking for is a Cobalt Librarian, a Mistress of Mixtures, and, you know, maybe a, a removal spell. So, Dark Sky is not a bad one to have. Uh, but Reno is a little bit of a dead card in the hand. Uh, considering when we need to play Runo, uh, Reno, you know, we really need to have, um, obviously, fulfill the Highlander requirement of only, only having one of each copy in our deck. But it really means we need to, to have played Hemet. Or have gotten very deep into our deck at that point. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about Reno as, as we get there, but ideally it's best to play the turn before you pull off the combo. Pretty much until we draw Hemet, uh, we're really just kind of, you know, looking to use as many of our draw tools as possible, whether it's our Death Rattle draws like the, the Runic Egg, the Loot Hoarder, or um, oh, there's one more in here. Maybe that's it. Uh, we also have the Novice Engineer, as well as the Cobalt Librarian. Oh, I, I forgot the Thalnos. <laughs> He's in my hand. So, you know, we're really just looking to draw as much as possible up until we hit Hemet. So, with kind of drawing, you know, we have some, some dangers of being overrun. Uh, this deck is what I found not very good against Demon Hunter, unless you kind of have a very perfect mulligan. Um, so, this deck might actually be doing really well after some of the Demon Hunter nerfs. Kind of expecting our video on Tuesday, because I believe the nerfs come out Tuesday. We'll cover uh, what our odd Demon Hunter decks look like kind of after the nerfs, if any of that changes. Um, so, you know, Crystal uh, Sigil Runner was, was nerfed, as well as um, uh, Priestess of the Fury. So I, I don't think Priestess of the Fury will have a huge effect, but, you know, maybe Sigil Runner will in terms of the early game. We are offered in this deck uh, one of the kind of the fun things you can do, which is to coil off one of your death rattles to get, you know, two draws out of it. So we'll go ahead and opt for that here. As you do play out a lot of these death rattle draw cards, do keep, you know, watching your deck hand or your uh, your hand size. You don't want to give the possibility to mill. You know, some things still play cold light, um, the cold light, as well as you know, just other things to mill you naturalize. Um, so, you know, definitely don't go over nine cards. Eight cards can be kind of a sweet spot. This priest shouldn't really be playing any of that, but we do have to, you know, watch out for a potential dirty rat that maybe this, this priest is playing. So we'll keep drawing out here. Do get the Dorian. As you can get some of these, um, oh, I, I did the thing I talked about not doing. So if he's able to, um... You know, clear off our loot hoarder here. We will mill a card next turn. So we'll see what, what we mill. Pretty much the rule of combo decks is um, if there's something to mill, it is almost always going to be one of your combo cards. So, All right. Go ahead and clear this guy off. Go ahead and play the Thalnos. Was able to not mill a combo card there, which is good. Um, in terms of that, so we can pull off kind of a nice thing to do here when you have a very big hand size. Go ahead and use one of your plot twists. So we hope that we get a Hemet back as well as the other plot twist when we redraw. So we'll see what we end up getting here. Okay, we get a Runic Egg. Pretty nice. Two Dark Skies. Okay. So we lost quite a few of our combo pieces here, but you know we did get almost all of our removal spells back. So we'll at least be able to survive out here. Uh, hoping we can draw the Hemet here soon, as well as the other plot twist. But we were kind of running out of answers for you know everything else he was going to have there. Okay, we got Shadow Word Pain. Uh, these two sixes aren't going to threaten, le threaten lethal to us, you know, too quickly, so we're not really too afraid yet. Let's go ahead and tap. 
We do get the Solarium, which is kind of the perfect spell to be our third spell in, in terms of this combo. Uh, we'll get into that discussion as we get a little closer. Let's go ahead and Plague of Flames here. Okay, find another mistress. And okay, we'll go ahead and play that out. Okay, so we got eight cards in the deck left. So, uh, worst case, you know, we can Solarium to get three of them out there. Kind of just got to last, um, not necessarily five turns, more like three with how aggressively we could use Life Tap at this point. Uh, again, he's not threatening us on board very hard, so feel pretty confident. Go ahead and double Felbolt out this. Okay, get the Sunstrider. And we'll go ahead and pass. Okay, we end up trying the Reno here. It is activated, but we don't, you know, necessarily need to activate it quite yet. Let's dump one of our Dark Skies to free up some hand space, and we'll tap. Get out the other Defile here. Um, at this point, if we're going to do the Solarium kind of end play, we do need to start dumping a few cards, so we'll dump one of our Defiles here. Okay, he gets out the Obsidian Statue. Again, pretty low tempo, not threatening us on lethal very hard. We do, do draw our Plot Twist here. So the only combo card we have left is Dollmaster Dorian. So let's, again, play our Dark Skies. Just dumping another card from hand. We will go ahead and get the Reno out, because it's going to be the turn before our combo. Be and we'll pass it off to him to see if we can pull anything off here. So how the combo works is we'll be using uh, Dollmaster Dorian. We need to have a, a third kind of junk spell, so Solarium is perfect for that in the situation we're in right now. This is actually the ideal kind of thing if you're running on the end of your deck. So let's see how it works. So we'll start off by playing the Solarium. Draw the other cards in our deck, take one point of fatigue. Go ahead and play the Dorian. We'll play the Plot Twist. One thing to watch out for is to make sure you have enough uh, board space. Did I lag out here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I, I did something wrong. Uh, make sure you have enough board space for all the minions in your hand uh, to ensure that you know your Sunstrider as well as your Mechathune has to get on board. Uh, we'll go ahead and play the Cataclysm and ultimately win the game here. So yeah, uh, kind of going through a lot of the, the do's and don'ts of the deck. Um, we'll take it in the collection real quick just to you know, wrap up some thoughts on, on some of those do's and don'ts. Uh, did use my, my free Nemzi there. Um, yeah, I'm not the best with this deck. Not the best uh, combo deck player either, really, to be truthful. But, um, you know, hopefully showed you enough to kind of start to get started there. Uh, again, going over your perfect mulligan, you're looking for the Librarian, the Mistress of Mixtures, and probably one of your, your clears, if you're up against a Demon Hunter, definitely a Defile. Uh, pretty necessary at that point. Uh, against other mag aggro matchups, you really need your Plague of Flames as well as some early minions in order to, to proc that Plague of Flames. Um, to With the early draw mechanics you have, you're really looking to play the Hemet. In order to play Hemet, remember to have a Plot Twist always in your hand at that point. Uh, the the combo of this deck really relies on Kel'thas uh, Sunstrider. You need to play three spells in order to, to proc that. You need the Plot Twist and the Cataclysm. Play your junk spell first, just in, because you know you don't want to plague of flames off your Dorian, for example. Definitely don't make that mistake. Uh, your deck protects you that you only play three cost spells or less, so that way you know you can always achieve this on ten mana. You can achieve kind of a crazy seven mana version of this um, if you have a coin in your hand. But generally speaking, you'll be looking for the eight mana proc of this, where you play uh, one of these one one cost spells, probably a Solarium is your best bet, the Plot Twist, and the Dorian to pull off an eight mana turn. So, you know, your ideal kind of curve of this deck is Hemet on six, Reno on seven, and then your combo on eight. So, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of the, the drill in on the deck. Um, hopefully, I've shown you enough of the pitfalls that you avoid kind of the, the early frustrations, uh, at least I know I had with this deck. 
making a lot of these early mistakes and you know just because of the unfamiliarity with the deck and learning through its its different synergies um yeah as we kind of covered earlier this is doing pretty poorly at least in my experience against the demon hunter but i'm thinking this deck will really open up in the meta as demon hunter gets nerfed as we see a, a few more things get buffed i don't think a lot of the other buffs and nerfs will have huge sweeping impacts uh, in terms of wild but we will definitely cover the demon hunter in our next video uh but that's going to wrap it up here for the mechathune warlock hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you again next time if you haven't yet please like or subscribe uh, and i'll see you again next time bye